All right, guys, it's no filter. That's natural sunrise right there. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is why I love hunting. Yes. Yes, sir. Duck on the water. That was a spray and pray, but hey, got a duck. I just gotta shoot this real quick with the beautiful sunrise in the background. Out here, doing a little duck hunting. First flight of the day. Had a group come in of uh, teal. We had dropped one green wing out of that group. It was a little bit of spray and pray, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. About to get back out there, got the GoPro going, see if we can get a few more. Alright guys, haven't had a whole lot of time to talk to you guys, but yeah, I'm out here, <clears throat> I'm on game reserve, I'm set up, but my plan was to go over in that cut, oh, that's why I scouted, a bunch of birds at, big ducks, but um, somebody beat me to it, it's fine though, because they haven't really been shooting a whole lot, I've shot more than they have, so they kind of did my favor, I guess, but anyway, oh, I'll show you guys my bird I got, got one, Green wing, teal, drake, rarant. Very pretty bird. Now they're shooting more. But uh, anyway, real quick. So I, I said a few times, but I don't know if I actually showed you guys, but where I'm hunting at, it actually feels, the ag feels on game reserve. And um, they actually flood these fields. They flood these fields. And um, so far it's been nothing but rainwater. But um, my buddy confirmed yesterday that they have turned on the pumps and they're pumping water to these fields, which they do it every every year um, to give the birds somewhere to go. Um, but whenever the water gets up, when these fields flooded, the water goes up to the uh, to the road. And when I got from work, my work is literally in between my house. Or let me rephrase that. This game reserve is in between my house and work. And I got off work at 5.30. I can still come out here, you know, walk from, you know, 20 yard walk from the road to the tree line, throw out a few decoys, and um, shoot some birds and be home in time, take my daughter to school. Right now it's 7.30, so, you know, if I left after first flight, I'm at home plenty of time. So that's usually what I do, and uh, that's my plan. Now, now duck hunting's gonna heat up for me a little bit. You guys have asked for duck videos. I haven't done really any. I've been filming a lot, but I haven't really shot m many ducks. Uh, I have a buddy of mine, Back 40 TV. He invites me out to go duck hunting, but um, from my house to his is about an hour drive, so I can't really make that drive too often. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to get out there and get good quality birds, good quality hunts. But it's gonna heat up a little bit here shortly. Um, next week or so I should be able to do a lot more duck hunting videos and the way I do it you know show up first light spray and pray and then um, wait for the big ducks see if they decide to come in that's about it anyway I'm gonna uh, hang tight sun's up now feels great it was like 30 30 degrees this morning um, the group next to me is leaving so it's gonna help me out a little bit 
I'm gonna kind of tighten my spray up a little bit. I should got some spray here, and then uh, I'll just hang tight until the ducks start flying again. I'm facing in the sun, which is unfortunate, but. Nothing, nothing too crazy as far as the spray goes. Um, I got, I think, 18 or 20 or so uh, decoys, floaters, and then my one mojo spinner. Just enough to get the bird's attention. I had, to, I filmed it. I got the sunlight. I did film it earlier, but I don't know if it kind of showed up on the GoPro. But uh, right, right at shooting line, I had two wood ducks decoy into my uh, spray. It they came over looped around twice uh, but then they left I didn't get a shot on them I don't want to shoot because it's a little bit too dark for to get a good shot even though it shouldn't so homies back here shooting anyway I think it's starting to heat up a little bit as far as like the shooting goes I've been hearing people shoot and a lot of calling so I'm mean, gonna turn the camera off GoPro and hang tight for a little while longer and then hopefully get a few more birds. I just got some on the GoPro, just cause I don't wanna take the big camera out right now. But I decided to make a move. I'm headed to the, the cut. The one I told you guys I wanted to get to at first. Uh, I just had it's a big group of pintail that are working. And um, all the big groups I'm seeing are moving that way. So um, I'm going to pack up my decoys and everything. Get in a kayak. Paddle them out. Good thing is I'm in a kayak so I can be movable like that. So I can move around. Be mobile I guess. Move around. So that's what I'm about to do right now. If they make that move. Get reset up be right back so quick short time you guys so i was about to come over and i was like all right my stuff loaded up and i have a gopro i was like well, i'm gonna throw it in, in the back uh my waterproof back just because you know just whatever so uh i'm going rock and rolling along and i hear my decoy it's like floating i was like what the heck i look back uh the wake from the kayak was dumping water into my sled and it filled up and the kayak's floating out. I said, well, crap. So I get out, um, fix that, and I gotta get back inside my kayak and we go overboard. So um, I'm drenched, soaking wet. My gun fell in the water. I almost lost my gun. Uh, everything fell in the water. Luckily, I had my GoPro, my phone, my camera, and all of that. Uh, GoPro just turned on because it heard me say GoPro. All that just, um, yeah, it was just there soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. Luckily, I always carry two jackets with me. I have another one. But the sun's, the sun's out and it's going to warm up. It's going to be like 55 today. I love the feathers on the green wing too. So pretty. How they change colors, different lighting. So cool. So we got a teal, and then we have um, what is a buffer head. All right. So I posted on Facebook in my duck hunt group, and um, it was confirmed that it is a merca. But they confirmed that it is a buffer head. But uh, the, the debate is out whether it is a um, immature male or if it's a female. I don't know if it's a drake or a hen. But either way, it's pretty cute. I'm on, I'm, I was thinking about mounting it, but I mean, I don't know. It's my first buffalo head. I always wanted one. Uh, apparently, some people say they're trash birds, and I, I don't know. I said they don't taste good. I don't know. I'm debating on whether it'd be a catch and cook or if you're gonna do just hold it for a mount. I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> like after watching it, America. 
Thank you for watching and tuning in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the teal. We definitely will be eating for certain. But I'm going to do a catch cook on that. We'll fry it up probably. But um, yeah, I already want to say something. Um, the baby duck is even more prettier. Um, that one has a little bit, but that's more buggy. This is so nice than that one. And that was a baby. We're going to go save and turn to a statue. We're going to eat that one. And we got to take those rainbow feathers off. Yeah, so basically I tried to explain uh, taxidermy to her. <clears throat> and the best I come up with is that we turn those into a statue. So uh, we're, the, the, the debate is out whether we're going to turn the uh, both plate into a statue or not. Drop a comment below. Let me know uh, if you guys think that we should mount it or not. I was thinking about doing a few mounts uh, of my first birds, like my first mallard, my first pintail, my first everything else. I was thinking about um, sending him to a taxidermist and have him mount them in flight. And um, I actually saw this mount on, I think, Google or something. But anyway, the guy had a whole wall. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I flipped my boat, got a little, I think I might get a little sick. Hopefully I don't get pneumonia. But um, anyway, a guy had, he had uh, about six or seven mallards in flight across his whole wall it was like one it was a bunch of mounts but turned into one mount <clears throat> so think about doing that maybe getting all of my my new birds my first and have them in flight and just have have them go across the wall so that's it for now you guys i'll see you guys thank you for tuning in like i said um the field's gonna be flooded pretty soon we're gonna get some more duck hunting duck hunting's gonna heat up here shortly got some water now so y'all stay tuned lots more in store lots more to come and I got funded. And she got funded. See you guys next time from EDI Doors. EDI out.